Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Alright, so for this video, I just want to be frank and be real with you guys out there. I'm going to talk about a very touchy topic, you know. You see me? I'm talking about the ways that we deal with our relationships, right? Whether it is an intimate relationship or it's a friendship. You see me? Or a bridging or whatever you call it. Let me just say this. Many of us, we need to come out of the little box that we are living in. Or the little bubble that we think that we are in when it comes to our intimate relationships or our friendship. Let me just say this. Communication goes both ways. Communication goes both ways. This can, I can take this from several angles. You see me? If you've not heard from somebody, we are talking about friendship now. If, we, if you've not heard from somebody in a while, you know, say so you can't take up the phone and call the person. You can't send them a regular SMS. You can't send them a message through WhatsApp. A full time now, we stop sitting there and pine over the fact that we've not heard from the person. And then we say, yo, the person you not message me in a long while, this person don't call me. And this person said, I'm a friend, ray, 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 blah, blah, blah. If the person run across your mind, you know you can make some effort to communicate with them. Because communication goes both ways. The thing that we need to understand as people, as individuals, is people go through things that they don't talk about. People are fighting silent battles that even if you and them close sometime in a relationship, they don't tell you because sometimes people think that they have to keep certain things personal and private and them not to do. You don't know what the other person go through. You don't know what the other person has experienced. So during the time when you're not hearing from the person, the person might be fighting a hell of a battle and just not have no time for talking to nobody and want to see nobody. You know what your call, your message could I do for the person to lift up the person's spirit and make the person feel better about themselves. Or even maybe you could have extend an helping hand to the person a time will come out of that little fool fool bubble and understand that communication goes both ways. You get to me I say, me not, this is different from person who neglect you and only call you when they need something. I'm not talk about them people. Eh. But some people where eh, you say them are your real friend. If you're not here from them, take up the phone and call them man. Understand you see as we talk about people facing things that they don't experience. You see, interpretation interpretation is a hell of a thing because sometimes as humans we go by our emotions and based on how we interpret things personally and you know sometimes your interpretation can be far from the truth but because you interpret it you believe for it to be true let me tell you something you see do not rely only on your interpretation but ask Ask the smarty what they mean and don't make up scenarios in your head because many times that causes problems in our relationship and friendship because we make up scenarios in our head, right? We see something, the person does something or the person says something and you interpret that in a negative way and you make it play by your mind and see it and put things in your head and say this is what the person mean by what they did this is what the person mean by what they said and then if you just simply have a conversation with the person you either find out say, that is far from the truth and the person probably not even mean anything by it by what was said, what was done, but it's because of your interpretation. Look here, we have to understand as well that people are not perfect. Makia said this enough. People not perfect. We should stop expecting people to be perfect. No, no, we're not perfect. And Jesus alone perfect. We are working on to perfection. Stop expecting people to be perfect because if you do some self introspection, you would realize that you yourself you are far from being perfect. Sometimes we have some people in our life and we say them are this, them are that, and them are the worst person. But if we think about it, the person is not all bad. The person has some good in them too. What you need to do is weigh the good, weigh the bad, and see which one outweighs the other. Then you decide the next step that you are going to take. 
sometimes you know if we should get our friends or our partners honest opinion about us we would have realized that we're far from perfect because someone would have realized that we are some flightless ravens in the eyes of others meet people where they are meet people where they are some people have some character traits some things about them will never change they may just stand so until thy kingdom come so in your intimate relationship in your friendship you have to decide if this is something that you can live with because some people have some raven traits when I got change, so you have to decide. Stop trying to change people to fit our narrative or to fit in our little bubble, in our little box, in our little world. People are dynamic. And that make the place nice because people come with different kind of flavor, different kind of personality. So we have to learn to work with people. Look here, I've been in relationships, you see me? Where I say, the lady have certain traits before me would have tried to change her, you see me? Or point blank, me know she should stay a particular way in a relationship now. Me I say, me not like this boy, you know. You need to change, you say, you need to change it. And I've seen where it has not worked in my current relationship now because I'm courting to be married soon. You get to me, I say, certain things I have decided that look here, me I accept them something here. I mean, I'm going to in her ears every day for her to change. It's the same thing with some of my friends, them people who close to me and who me respect down to the ground, them walk on. You see me? Them have character traits too that are not so desirable. But guess what? I have decided to work with it because we know that me not perfect and me have character traits too. Where them decide to them are going to work with. So I'm not going to make it be one sided and like them are the worst person in the world and I'm the best person in the world. No, they come with both the good and the bad. Just like how oh, me come with the good and the bad. Certain things just require a little conversation. You see me? While certain things decide, sorry, certain things are going to just require acceptance and say, yo, I saw that person here stay and I'm going to work with it as best as possible. Bite my lip and clench down my big toe you see what I say when sometimes little things come up in your head sometimes we need to dismiss them and say move from yourself with the foolishness there. because as I said before interpretation is a hell of a thing while some things you watch and see if it is true but don't allow your interpretation along with the little thing that come up in your head cause you to drift in your relationship or in your friendship because sometimes you have some couples in them nice 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 interpretation little things in your in them head cause problem them drift them break up same thing with bridging with brethren, with friends. People have been friends, good friends for years. Interpretation with the little things in a people's head cause them for drift. And nobody is willing to be the bigger person to say, here what, let me have the conversation here and see if my interpretation is correct or adjust the little things in my head. You get to me I say? Relationships can be saved. Friendship can be saved. We need to get with emotion all tight and be adults. We are big people, you know? We are big people. Be adult about it. If you feel some type of way, say something about it. I say go out there and go look no war, you know. And try to make nice and carry on and go on. Because sometimes someone will believe that if we're not shouting, we're not going to get a point across. You get to me? I say, you don't have to shout, you don't have to be loud, you don't have to be boisterous to get your point across. You can say, hey, you know, I've noticed this. And my interpretation of what I've noticed is this, and it has caused me to feel this particular kind of way. And if the person is honest enough, they will say that, all right, this is what I meant, and I'm sorry that you felt that way, but that's not how I wanted it to be. Or the person, if I saw them, they wanted me, they say, yeah, me do that because of you doing X. You see me, I want to sit down and talk it, or we need to communicate. You see me? Communicate. Meet people where they are. Accept certain things. Another thing is give people the same amount of grace that you would have wanted to be reciprocated to you. Give them the same amount of grace. We can't expect 100% grace from others. Then we are only able and willing to give them. Not able, 
let me take that out of it but sometimes you are only willing to give 50 percent of grace no if you are 100 percent give 100 percent too prime example a couple of weeks ago i was sick for two weeks i mean like sick old. some of my dearest friends did not know that i was sick you know why they never know said me sick because they did not communicate with me over that two weeks many people many persons if them be in my position you know whenever them people they call them or message them they would have cussed them out and say yo look how long we did sick i didn't call me and this and that then communication goes both ways communication goes both ways even though me did sick i'm probably next to death but if i'm phone every day i could have called the person too and say yo you know so i don't feel so well because this ex da, 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 da. or i could have texted the person as well even though i'm me of the situation i mean sick communication goes both ways when some of my friends call me after i'm say yo you know so we did sick what day what day blah 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 and i'm saying hey, 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 i'm worked out and we move on i mean i feel the type of way and other people and say ray 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 you know that time then me our friends too that knew i was sick you see me and them not really come check on me and for safe my alright and whatever. Me still not cuss them because during the time I was ill, I did not know what they were going through. We have to understand that people live busy life. When a pick me again, where it's just school, church, and home. You see me? We are adults with families and working, and we have our own problems. I don't know what my friends were facing at that particular time. So there's no way I'm going to put my illness on a pedestal and say, because me did sick, and me and them are big friends. Them supposed to drop everything where them are do, and it's all about me. No, me not going to be selfish. Look here, my could stop with the foolishness and come out of the bubble where we're in a, and the little box that we live in you hear what I say? because people live busy lives you see me? and the fact say we are in a relationship we have a good friendship and you have to make your interpretation cause that to drift and cause problems to be created it is toxic a full time now we stop the foolishness it toxic mentally it is draining when we see the shift and then sometimes we wait 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 with the person on the receiving end of our shift them can't explain and understand why we are more sideways like crab and then we start more sideways like crab and we expect the other person to automatically know why we are moving sideways like crab it no work so on a preschool we know you know we are adults and every day we tell people for work out them problem don't fight it out talk it out but yet still we fight with our silence and we fight with drifting but we tell the kids not to but as adults we are doing the same thing it's just that we're not out there with stone and stick and knife and gun and buckle and chop up and cut up one another but we are still fighting we are emotionally scarring each other when we don't talk and express our feelings we could talk my man we could talk and explain we could talk talk when it is necessary look here we need the spirit of discernment to talk when it is necessary and shut him out when it is necessary to shut our mouth because sometimes we would have better off if we did just lack with big holy ghost mouth get to me i say we could talk and express your express feelings if you are not happy about something talk talk if you feel some type of way talk if you see certain things and you interpret it in a negative way Talk! Mighty God of Daniel. Talk, no man. Come out of the little bubble where we live in. Express yourself. Communication goes both ways. People live, live busy lives. And many times we don't know what people are going through. Look here. We could talk. Talk it out. Don't fight it out. You see me? Be blessed. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.